everyone. Welcome to episode number 612 of this here electronic engineering podcast called Amelia's Weekly Fish Fry, brought to you by eejournal.com and written, produced, and hosted by me, Amelia Dalton. My guest this week is David Moore, CEO of Pragmatic Semiconductor. David and I are discussing the details of Pragmatic Semiconductor's ultra-low cost, ultra-thin, flexible integrated circuits called Flex ICs. We explore how these thin film ICs will revolutionize the semiconductor industry. The details of Pragmatic Semiconductor's environmentally friendly manufacturing process and what their fab in a box is all about. So, without further ado, please welcome David to Fish Fry. Hi, Dave. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you, Amelia. Excellent. Okay, so first off, let's talk about your experience in electronic engineering and what brought you to Pragmatic Semiconductor? I'll give you the short version, but uh, Pragmatic Semiconductor is a, a world leader in flexible IC technology, and it's headquartered in Cambridge in the UK, where I'm joining you from today with our manufacturing in the northeast of England. Well, I spent most of my career basically in the US, largely in Silicon Valley, companies such as Altera, who were then subsequently acquired by Intel, had a range of executive roles in six great years at Intel, ultimately ran Altera within Intel end-to-end, and then spent some time at Micron, following that as Chief Strategy Officer. And then this role at Pragmatic came a little out of left field. Uh, The company was founded in 2010. I've been with them for about 18 months. And it was really just a very, very unique kind of opportunity. I think, you know, your listeners will probably know there's no end of opportunity in the chip industry today. It's very exciting. But, you know, across those roles in 25 years in the the semiconductor industry, also had a front seat on some of the challenges for the industry in terms of constrained supply chains. Uh, We all lived through the the recent supply chain challenges and crises. The various, you know, geographical concentration risks of the industry today, particularly in manufacturing. And then last, but certainly not least, you know, the emissions of the industry as well. And Pragmatic was just really exciting. It's a very disruptive approach from a technology and manufacturing standpoint to semiconductors. And it enables a, you know, really low cost, ultra thin, flexible IC that we can talk about, but fundamentally enables, you know, a high volume, sustainable path for semiconductor manufacturing. That's just really exciting. And on top of that, a fantastic team, a fantastic trajectory for the company and opportunity. I just, uh, you know, something that was just too good to pass off. I love it. Now, Dave, I'm really interested in your ultra low cost, ultra thin, flexible integrated circuits called Flex ICs. So talk to me about the unique capabilities of these ICs. Yeah. So what we do at Pragmatic is really for the first time ever, we bring together what's called thin film technology, which exists in the industry. You find it in display technology. And we bring that together with kind of standard, state-of-the-art, 300 millimeter wafer semiconductor processing. And so what you end up with is these lower cost, but ultra thin, flexible, like thin as a human hair thin, circuits on wafers that have a really ultra low carbon footprint. It's maybe hard for you to visualize, but you can picture it like a very thin film, circular wafer as a standard, but something that's really flexible. You can actually roll it up. And on each of those uh, wafers, you might have, you know, 50,000 flex ICs. And essentially, these have got really, really unique capabilities in terms of their form factor. You can picture because they're so thin and flexible, we can integrate them in virtually any physical object on the planet. And we can bring item level intelligence at scale, allow objects to connect, to sense, to interact with their environments in all kinds of unique ways. And obviously, there's Tremendous sets of applications in the consumer space, the industrial space for that. And basically unique here is the fact that, you know, they're lower cost, but they can integrate seamlessly. But also, too, as we look at kind of bringing item level intelligence to hundreds of billions of objects, you also have to be conscious, too, of the, the carbon footprint, right? A lot of these applications 
are exciting in being able to bring new levels of sustainability and advantage and reduce emissions. And so clearly adding carbon footprint as you go is going to be a challenge as well. So that sustainable, flexible form factor and our cost advantages open up new applications for the technology that simply just don't exist for silicon today. So, Dave, what kind of applications would be a good fit for Flex ICs? I would imagine a lot of different embedded designs could take advantage of this kind of technology. Well, absolutely. You know, I think one of the most exciting opportunities for the company is just how endless the applications are. I can give you a few examples, though, Amelia, if that's helpful. I mean, one is certainly the area of uh, radio frequency identification or RFID, where you're embedding tags into products, enabling you to track and trace them, provide visibility across the supply chain. With the top of a smartphone, you can authenticate a product. But there's broader applications than that. We have applications in sensing, so temperature sensing, humidity sensing. One exciting application of that might be to reduce food waste. So for example, imagine being able to tap your phone and interact with a sensor that's detecting for food freshness in real time. There's applications too in consumer electronics. So various wearable technology, particularly A or VR glasses. You can imagine the really constrained form factor. And so being able to bend and twist thin, flexible circuits into those kinds of applications is really exciting for our customers. And then there's a large set of applications in the healthcare space. So various healthcare monitors that basically monitor for various conditions, but also to the kind of broader track and trace and authentication in the pharmaceutical industry as well. And so there's really large scope of applications today, but then a, a growing set of applications in the future that really kind of expand into a AI-enabled IoT for embedded systems and beyond. So Dave, I'm also really interested in your fab in a box. So tell me more about that. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the things that's just truly unique about our manufacturing and our technology. So typically, you know, a silicon fab, certainly an advanced silicon fab, but even a mature silicon fab, you're talking about certainly, you know, large areas of multiple tools. Typically, our fabs are much more compact. And so they are just 600 square meters, so 20 meters by 30 meters. But each of those fabs is capable of producing billions of flex ICs per year. Another really awesome thing about the technology, too, is that we can go from raw materials to wafers out in just 48 hours. So really, really rapid production cycles enable us to customize designs for our customers in a very agile manner. And of course, on top of that, that fab in the box, by virtue of the technology, requires much less water much less energy, much less harmful chemicals. And so it's inherently more sustainable. Carbon footprint for one of our flexes is orders of magnitude lower than silicon. And all of these things make it very easy for us to deploy high volume manufacturing capacity for these thin film flex ICs, but do it really anywhere in the world. So we're scaling up our production here in the UK, but our ambitions are obviously to be global and scale out that production across the world. And our customers are very excited about the opportunity to take this fab in a box, this modular capacity, and put it beside their production lines, enabling a more secure, assured access to to semiconductor supply, which is obviously a, a big focus globally today. Dave, I also noticed that your manufacturing processes are much more environmentally friendly than traditional semi manufacturing. So can we discuss this aspect as well? Yeah, absolutely. It's, I mean, it's really down to the fact that, you know, the technology itself requires less water and less energy. It's just less intensive. And so the fact that we're able to kind of use less water, less energy and less harmful chemicals, but also to the fact that we're processing in just 48 hours versus many, many months as you would for silicon means that our overall emissions and impact is far, far lower. And so this is, you know, obviously a huge challenge for the industry. And, you know, the industry is making, I think, a lot of progress in looking at renewable sources of energy. But if you're able to, from the ground up, architect a manufacturing process where you're just using less resources and using those resources for less time to get your chips out, creates a very, very compelling sustainable advantage. And I think that's one of the things our customers and our investors are most excited about in terms of the opportunity for the technology is to just really move the needle 
uh, in terms of its overall sustainability in the industry. So, Dave, where is Pragmatic Semiconductor headed in the future? Look, our vision is really to empower innovation. So we operate as a, an integrated device manufacturer and as a foundry. And so empowering innovation that bridges the physical and digital worlds for a more sustainable future. And, you know, a lot of the applications that we are looking to service really are around reducing waste, improving reusability, improving recycling outcomes. But fundamentally, you know, we are looking at scaling up significantly to meet what is just tremendous global customer demand. We just closed uh, at the end of 23, our Series D equity raise, and that was the largest ever semiconductor venture raise in European history. So that was really, really fantastic. And that really is going to allow us to advance our technology roadmap. So immediately be able to, you know, expand the addressable market for the technology, which is really exciting. Continue that innovation, but also expand our capacity, right? Here in the UK, where we're scaling up the UK's first ever 300 millimeter fabs, and then looking at internationally expanding that in time as well. And this is really just around being able to service that growing opportunity for alternatives, tapping into the fact that the demand for chips uh, really is relentless, and being able to service exciting applications in our mission to see that technology deployed in trillions of smart items over the next decade. I love it. All right, Dave, before I let you go, it's time for your off-the-cuff question. So if you could have one meal right now, it doesn't matter if it's on the other side of the world, you need a passport to get there, what would you have? It's my evening time here as I'm talking to you at the end of the day. You know, I do love food, I love cooking, but I have to say I've found at a local restaurant here in Cambridge, they do a mussels in like a, a wine sauce and they serve it with chips or French fries, as I used to call them. I'm sure you do, Amelia. <laughs> you know, I think there's a billion calories in it, but it is one of the most wholesome, fulfilling meals. That's right now, if you know, you put me on the spot, that's one that comes to mind right away. I love it. That sounds fantastic. Well, Dave, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure, Amelia. Thank you so much. If you would like more information about Pragmatic Semiconductor, I've included several links below the player on this week's fish frying page on eejournal.com and in the description for this week's YouTube episode as well. Hey, have you checked out EE Journal on social media yet? Well, you should. You can find us at facebook.com slash EE Journal. If LinkedIn is more your thing, you can follow us or me on LinkedIn. And we are also on Blue Sky Social and Mastodon too. And we have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash EE Journal. Folks, it is chock full of all kinds of techie videos, including our very popular Chalk Talk webcast series hosted by me, and our brand new animated series called Libby's Lab. And of course, you can subscribe to our EE Journal YouTube channel as well. Well, folks, that's all there is for Fish Fry for 2024. I'm looking forward to bringing you a whole lot of super cool interviews in the next year. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this here podcast on Spotify, Podbean, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or just about any other podcasting platform to listen to those exciting upcoming episodes. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. If you know of any cool new technology or heck you just want to chat, shoot me a line at Amelia, that's A-M-E-L-I-A, at eejournal.com, or post a comment on our forums on EE Journal. For the week of December 20th, 2024, I'm Amelia Dalton, and you've been fried.